Good morning. Welcome to an express vinyasa flow class. If you have a block or something similar that can help bring the floor to you, it might be helpful in today's flow. And we'll go ahead and get started right away. Come to a tabletop position, hands and knees. Palms right under your shoulders, spread your fingers out nice and wide, knees under your hips, press down through the whole shin and hug your heels slightly towards each other. Move through a few cat cows. As you inhale, lower the belly down, lift your tail, and arch the back of your head like it's gonna touch your tailbone. Exhale, draw the tailbone to the pubic bone. As you press the floor away, slide your scapula apart, and hug the chin into the notch at the base of your throat. Inhale to cow shape, and exhale to cat. Try to let the joints of your hips and your shoulders get involved, not just moving through your waist as you connect a little bit to the flow of inhale and exhale. Starting to notice the pace of your breath today. Just observing, being curious. It's really what our mat is for. Never an escape from what's going on, but a place to work through it. Come to a nice neutral spine, slide your knees out wide and bring your big toes to touch. Softening your hips back to your heels, rest your forehead to the earth. You could place the block underneath your forehead if you don't quite touch down to your mat. Soften through the elbows and the hands. Give yourself the grace and the space to just be however you are. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and spill the breath onto the earth. And that same force, softly seal your lips. Inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the nose. Create your ujjayi pranayam. Come up onto the pads of your fingers. So pent the palm. Hug the bicep in towards your skull. Spiral the tricep down and creep your fingers out. As you anchor the hips really firmly back, get nice and long through the sides of the waist and feel a stretch underneath your arms. Exhale, plant your palms flat and walk both hands over to the right off the long edge of your mat onto the wood floor. Maybe picking up your head and laying it on your left arm. Inviting the breath to open up the ribs on the left side. Walk the hands through center and all the way over to the left. Laying your head on the right arm, anchoring back through your right hip and inviting each breath to break up the tissue between your ribs. Walk your hands back to center. Inhale through tabletop position, hands and knees. Bring your shoulders just past your ribs. Neutral elbow, lower your chest between your thumbs and then anchor your hips down. Stretch your right arm out overhead, bend your left knee. Left hand will clasp your foot. Draw the heel in towards your bum. Get some stretch at the front of your left leg. Anchor your tailbone towards your pubic bone. Your pubic bone up towards your navel. If your low back feels safe today, press the foot into the hand. Floating the chest up. Keep both knees pressing together and the thighs down. Maybe you float your right arm up. Exhale, release. Left arm stretch overhead. Bring that right palm back as you bend your right knee, catching the foot. First, just take the stretch into your right quadricep, heel in towards your bum. And then anchoring the tailbone to the pubic bone, pubic bone to your navel. Knees squeeze together, right thigh presses down. As the right foot presses into your hand, you'll open up the right side of your chest as well. Maybe pressing down through your left foot and lifting your left arm. Exhale, release, plant the palms under your shoulders, come through your tabletop position, hands and knees. Tuck your toes and elevate your hips. Firming the heels down, watch the kneecap flatten out. Maybe you can even lift the toes or just create the energy of lifting them. A little bend in your elbows, create a little more space through your shoulders. Your gaze here is right between your heels or up to your navel. Gaze to your fingertips. Step the feet to your hands, find a forward fold. Plant the right palm under your nose, inhale, take the left arm up, soft bend in your right knee. And maybe taking the left arm behind you, sneak it into your right hip crease, let the right ear fall to the right shoulder. 
release to your forward fold, left palm plants. Sweeping the right arm up, internally rotate, sneak the right palm over to your left hip crease behind your back. Left ear to the left shoulder. Release to your forward fold, palms to your shins. Iron out your spine, reach the tail back, even if you need to bend your knees a little or a lot. Reach the heart forward, slight tuck of your chin length on the back of the neck. Exhale, release and fold, inhale all the way up to stand, hook up your thumbs and fan your fingers out really wide. Exhale, tip over to your right. Inhale through center, exhale, tip left. Inhale through center, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms and send your feet to the back of the mat, bend your elbows, lowering to Chaturanga Dandasana, roll onto the top of the foot, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Two more breaths here. Gaze into your fingertips, feet move to your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, fold forward. Inhale all the way up to stand, hook your thumbs, come up and over to the right. Inhale through center, exhale left. We'll add in a back bend, inhale through center, exhale, cactus your arms. Press your thighs forward, grip your heels down and out. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, full belly to your thighs. Halfway lift, breathe in, exhale, plant your palms from your high to your low plank. Inhale to your back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze into your fingertips, feet to your hands. Inhale, lengthen out, exhale, fold forward, all the way up to stand, breathe in. Last time, hook up your thumbs, tip to your right. Inhale through center, exhale, tip left. Inhale through center, exhale, find your back bend. Inhale, reach it up and exhale, belly to your thighs. Inhale, lengthen out, exhale, palms plant through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right heel to the sky. Exhale, hug the right knee to your right tricep. Inhale, take it all the way up and back. Exhale, hug it to the left. Inhale it up two more times to the right and the left. Starting to feel that heat and power build, right? And left. Deep connection to your center. Right foot comes between your palms. Soften your left knee down and sweep your arms up. Here's where if you have a block or something to help you, grab it and place it on the left side of your mat, about even with your hips. For impressing to that right heel, sensation of squeezing your thighs to the midline, lower your right hand towards the earth or your thigh and take a side stretch to your right. Inhale the arms up through center. Lower your left hand, it'll tap on that block Take a side stretch to your left. Notice I'm not leaning down and forward. Belly's peeling up away from that front thigh. Tuck your left toes under at the back of the mat. As you start to lift your left knee, stay low and swivel. Right hand down. Deep bend in your left knee towards the back of the mat. Skandasana, lateral lunge. Turning to your left, face the back of the mat, plant the right palm under your shoulder, inhale, take your left arm up to the sky. Exhale, release your left palm down, step to plank shape, top of your push-up, and move through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right heel to the sky. Exhale, place the foot inside your right thumb, pivot your left heel flat, come up to warrior one. Stamping down through your left heel, drive the right shin forward, lift the pubic bone up towards your heart, Snuggle the hands to interlace at your low back. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, surrender inside your right thigh. Humble warrior. Engage the space from your right outer knee to your right hip. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Catch your right wrist as you reach up overhead and press your right leg straight. Exhale, bend your right knee. Lower the right palm six inches in front of the foot and lift your left leg. Half moon pose, outward spiral, both thighs. Exhale, release and fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. 
Exhale, fold, big toes draw towards each other, bend your knees and sink your hips, sweep your arms up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, sweep it back, half chair. Maybe you elevate the heels, pressing the palms towards each other, lower the heels. Inhale, sweep it up and lift your left knee to your chest. Exhale, hands to your heart, curtsy squat, left knee tucks behind the right. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, out of your flesh, hugging outer Flesh of your outer hip hugging in. Step your left foot all the way back. Lower the knee down. Sweep the arms up. You've got this low lunge. Side stretch to your right if you want the block. Grab it. Inhale through center. You can take the block into your left hand. Side stretch to your left. Move away from that front thigh. Tuck your left toes under. Pick that back knee up and pivot. Swivel. Deep bend in your left knee. Skandasana. Lateral lunge. Turn to your left. Plant the right palm under your shoulder. Inhale, take the left arm up for your twist. Exhale, lower your left hand down. Pivot your right heel flat. Lift up to warrior one. Virabhadrasana A on the left. Exhale, palms surround your left foot. Move through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep that left heel to the sky. Exhale it to your left tricep. Inhale, three leg. Exhale it to your right tricep. Inhale, take it up two more rounds. To the left. And the right. And the left. And the right. Set the foot inside your left thumb. Dial your, sorry, lower your right knee to the earth and sweep the arms up. You've got this low lunge, Anjane Asana B, right? Firm press into your left heel, squeeze your inner thighs to the midline, and lift the pubic bone up to your heart. Take a side stretch towards your left, lower your left hand. Inhale, both arms up. The block's ready on the right side, so you can use it to take a side stretch over to your right. Remember, draw the belly up away from your left thigh. It's a little bit of a back bend here. Tuck your right toes under. Use the power of that leg, firm press into your left heel to take the right knee off the mat. And then start to swivel the left hand down, pivot your feet. Deep bend in your right knee, skandasana, lateral lunge. Turning to your right, left palm under your shoulder. Inhale, sweep the right arm up, scoop back through your right outer hip. Exhale, your right palm down, move through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left heel to the sky. Exhale, place the foot inside your left thumb. Pivot your right heel flat. Inhale, up to warrior one. Exhale, snuggle the hands to interlace behind your back. Nice deep breath in. Open up your heart. And then exhale, surrender inside your left thigh. Crown of the head moving to the mat just inside that left heel. Think about tucking the left hip back underneath you, pressing your left knee away from the shoulder. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, legs straight. Catch your left wrist, open up the mouth of your left hip, sky archer. Deep bend in your left knee, plant the palm in front of the foot, pick up your right leg, find your half moon pose. Exhale, release your right palm down, come to a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, fold big toes towards each other, bend your knees, sink your hips, chair pose. Scrubbing the heels down and out, sweep your palms back, maybe you lift the heels, zip up your inner leg line. Inhale, sweep your arms up and bring the right knee to your chest in standing crane. Exhale, tuck the right knee behind the left, bring the palms to your heart center. Curtsy squat. Feel that flesh of your outer hip and your inner thigh hug to the midline. Step all the way back with your right foot. Soften the knee down and sweep the arms up. Take your side stretch to the left, the block is there. Taking the block with you, switch hands, right hand down, lean away from that front thigh. Tuck your right toes under, use the power, firm press into your left heel. Strong right leg as you pick that knee up and swivel, pivot, deep bend in your right knee, skandasana, lateral lunge. Turning to your right foot, 
Find your dragonfly twist, left palm under your shoulder, right arm sweeps out, scooping through that outer hip. Exhale, right palm down. Move through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right heel to the sky. Exhale, slide your shin forward for an early lifted half pigeon. Right, so a bit of a press into that right shin. Maybe the right hand comes back and catches your left foot. As you slowly release, tuck the left toes under. We're coming to side plank with tree on the right leg. So pivot to the pinky edge side of your left foot. That right knee lifts to your chest, and the right foot connects with your left inner thigh. Right, anywhere along that left leg. Tap your right toes behind you. Lift your hips, spin your heart to the sky, wild thing. Lower your right palm and step the right foot forward between your hands. Inhale, come on up to your high crescent lunge. Hugging the tailbone to the pubic bone, find that. Mula Bandha, start to balloon your arms open. Maybe you tap that left knee to the earth and lift your gaze. Reach your heart forward and pick up your left leg. Warrior three. Slight spiral of your left outer hip down. Press like the left heel's touching the wall behind you. Lower your palms to the earth. Fold towards your right shin. Swing this left leg down. Take it in front of the right. And eagle wrap your legs. Start to bend your right knee a lot, your left toes kick stand down, lifting your torso, right arm over left, you're in Garudasana Eagle Pose, left thigh on top, right arm on top. Hugging everything back to the midline, last breath here. As you unravel, step back, find your high crescent lunge and breathe in. Exhale, twist, left elbow to your right thigh. Open out your arms, left fingertips towards the earth, right up. Big windmill with your arms, left arm sweeps behind you for reverse warrior two, outward spiral of your right thigh, dial the left heel flat. Exhale, forearm on the thigh, side angle. Sweeping your left arm out of your ear, breathe in. Exhale, sweep the left arm in front of you. Pivot your left toes out, face the long edge of your mat and find your goddess shape. Press the elbows really actively back so you feel the lats and the rhomboids work. Lower your left forearm on your left thigh and take a side stretch towards the back of the mat. Exhale, release your palms to surround your left foot. Bump your right foot in and out. Right palm presses down on top of your left foot. Left foot thumb slides to the pocket of your hip crease, working your way into revolved triangle shape. Exhale, lower your left hand down as you come to stand. Right sole of the foot to your left inner thigh. We've been here before, but we were inside plank. Bring your hands to your heart. Working towards bound standing crane here. Take a little bend in your left knee. Keep the right foot pressing into your thigh. Heart starts to melt. Right arm comes to intersect the shin. Left arm comes behind you. All the way up to stand. If that's not working for you, if you're not finding the bind, you can grab a towel to shore up this space or just pick up your right knee like tree but in the air. Start to bend your left knee as slow as you can, as controlled as you can. Come all the way to the earth in your Malasana squat. Reaching your arms forward or placing them behind you for a little support. Come on to your bum and float your legs up now, Vasana boat pose. Right, you're on the back rim of your sit bones, not on the tailbone, and maybe you come to hover down. And back up. Left sole of the foot to your right inner thigh. Inhale, stretch the arms up, and exhale, fold towards your right leg. Last breath here in your John Yushrasasana A. Inhale, come on up. Place the left palm behind you. Lift up onto your left shin. Find a back bend. 
exhale, lower down. Stay with me here. Your left leg stays bent, exactly like it is. This right leg is gonna swing all the way behind you. Yep, you can use the help of your hands. Right leg swings all the way behind you, so you're in this pigeon shape on the left side. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee. The left foot will shoot out for fallen triangle, so towards the right. Come all the way up. And then working the eagle wrap, left thigh over right. So bend both knees, sweep that left leg back. Maybe the right arm comes over your ear. Lower your right hand in your left shin to the mat. The left toes are over towards the right, left knee is over towards the left. Bring the right knee behind your left ankle, press down through your shin. Come up to stand if you can, and eagle wrap the right arm over the left. Exhale, release your hands to the earth. Tuck your right toes under. Start to lift your right knee, still pressing that left ankle into your right thigh. Step the left foot forward between your hands, and we'll play a little bit here. Snuggle the left arm underneath your left leg. Some of us may just be working towards a bind here in side angle shape. Others may be working with the left palm down outside your left heel. Right arm comes up, up, up onto the left ball mount of your foot and work towards sneaking underneath your left leg in this variation of Vishma Lustras. If you have this and you practice Kundinyasana flying splits, you can lower and come through that. Whatever you chose, make your way through your vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left heel to the sky. Bring the shin forward. Find your pigeon shape. Lift it, a little squeeze of the inner thighs towards each other, firm down through your left shin. The left hand might come back to catch your right foot for a twist. Moving to our tree side plank, both hands down, tuck your right toes under. Pivot to the pinky edge side of your right foot, hug that left knee to your chest and bring the left foot anywhere along the inseam of your right thigh. Tap your left toes behind, spin your heart up, lift your hips, wild thing. Exhale, left hand down, slide the foot between your palms. Inhale up to high crescent lunge. Exhale, open up your arms, let them bloom open. Maybe you tap your right knee down. Reach your heart forward and lift your right leg. Scissoring the inner thighs away from each other. If you fall like I just did, come back in. Press through that right heel. Lower your hands to the mat. Fold chin to shin. Making our way to eagle, really different entry. Right leg comes down. Swing it in front of the left. Start to bend both knees. Your right toes act like a kickstand. A little bit of extra steadiness to come up to stand. To your arms, left arm over right. Bringing the palms to touch or give yourself a nice big hug. As you unravel, breathe in, step back to your high crescent lunge. Exhale, prayer twist, right elbow to the left thigh. Open out your arms, right fingertips towards the earth, left to the sky. Make a big sweeping windmill with your arms, dialing that back heel flat into reverse warrior two. Outward spiral of your left thigh. Exhale, forearm on the thigh, sweeping the right arm over your ear, side angle shape. Stay nice and low, sweep it to goddess, left leg doesn't change. Pivot the toes out, squeeze your elbows back, fingers nice and wide. Right forearm on the thigh, take a side stretch. Carry all this space into your revolve triangle shape. Pivot to frame your right foot. Bump the left in and out. Legs are long and strong. Left palm presses down. I like it on top of the foot. Slide the thumb to the pocket of your right hip and start to spin the right rib cage on top of the left, maybe reaching your arm up. Exhale, lower your right hand down. Come up to stand in tree pose, left sole of the foot to your right inner thigh. We were just here in side plank. Nice. 
Press back through your left knee, soften the right. Still firming the foot into the thigh, really important. Start to melt your chest down. The left arm is going to intersect your left shin. Right arm comes behind you, finding the bind and standing up, taking that left knee with you. Scapula hug towards each other. Maybe the left hand just picked up the left knee. Using our strength and control, bend your right knee. Start to lower the left foot to the mat into your malasana squat. Lowering the hips down, float the legs up right to Navasana. If you fall over backwards, just come back in. Lower to your low boat. Hover, breathe. Come on back up. Right sole of the foot to your left inner thigh. Inhale, stretch the arms up and exhale, fold over your left leg. Janusrasana A. Last breath here. Inhale, lift your shoulders over your hip. Place the right palm behind you. Come up onto your right chin. And a nice back bend. Exhale, release it. Stay with me. Right, hands down. You can use them for a little bit of balance. Lift up your left leg. Swing it all the way around behind you. So you're in this pigeon shape, right shin forward, tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee, shoot it right out from underneath you and fall in triangle. And then working towards our eagle wrap here, slide that right leg back, wrapping it over the left, bending both knees, and maybe you start to press that left leg straight and make this nice juicy arch with the left side of your body. Lower the left hand and your right shin. Right, so it's like a lifted pigeon. Toes are towards the left long edge of your mat. Knees over to the right. Tuck the left knee behind your right ankle and come on up. Press really actively down through that right shin. Squeeze the left hip underneath you to your arms. And the eagle wrap with the left over right. Really slowly, still pressing down through your right shin. Both hands to the mat. Tuck your left toes under. Press that right ankle into your left knee. Find your figure four down dog. Slide that right foot forward between your hands. Here's where you have the option to work towards that bind. All right, bound side angle shape. Or place the right hand outside your right heel. Come up onto the ball of the right foot. Left hand comes around to the top of your right foot. Start to put that right foot up off the earth. Maybe you stretch it straight and peek up underneath your left arm in this variation of Bhishma Mustrasla. Slowly release if you're playing with that flying splits. Left hand comes down, right leg still connected to that right arm. Launching your right forward and unwrapping your legs through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Whew. Nice deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. Lower your knees to the mat and swing the legs out in front of you. Give them a nice little shake. We'll bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees open out. You might pick up the flesh out from underneath your sit bones. I also like starting with my feet further away, right? picking my hips up and moving them forward. Sometimes I can get a lot more space. If you're comfortable here, perhaps you fold. Slowly coming up, bring your knees together, lower all the way down onto your spine. One bridge pose or one back bend if you'd rather place the palms on either side of the ears today, go ahead and do so. 
Snuggling the arms down by your sides, you might tuck the head of the shoulder underneath your body so you feel the skin right between your shoulder blades crinkle up. And uh, opening through your collarbones, pressing down through your feet, slowly lift your hips up. Gentle roll of the inner thigh down, pressing through all four corners of the foot. Tailbone lifting up to meet your pubic bone. Slowly lower your hips down. Hugging the knees into your chest. Maybe make a little circle or rock side to side. Bring your arms to a T, let both knees drop over to your right. And just rest, let the effort go. squeeze of your knees together inhale bring them back to center and exhale let them drop over to the left Slowly bringing your knees back to center. Give yourself one last hug. Stretching out to Shavasana. Letting the legs move to the edges of your mat or maybe even off. Arms out from your sides. Palms face up. Letting the fingers curl in towards your palm. The toes flop in or out. Creating the space to absorb and connect the work you just did, like you're locking it into your bones. Curiosity and observation start to notice where you feel the breath moving your body. It's stability, it's steadiness. It's your constant companion. Your best friend. moving through the fingers and the toes, the ankles and wrists, your chin from side to side. Ending one knee and then the other. Soles of the feet to the earth come to rest over on one side. And just acknowledge anything you'd like to leave behind, anything you worked through. And slowly pressing up to a seat. 
Resting your hands at heart center, bowing towards the tips of your fingers. Om Shanti. Peace. Namaste.